to the WNBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Dallas Wings as they play against the Las Vegas Aces. Joined by Brian Benefitemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we are so glad you've joined us tonight. Well, both of these teams love to get out in the open court. But guys, what are the biggest advantages of being a good fast break team? Well, it gives you a chance to attack when the defense is not Go. quite set up yet. And oftentimes, that can create looks you normally would never get. It also helps you wear out the opposing team, especially when you have a group of really athletic players. Not everybody wants to run up and down the floor all game. So when the fourth quarter rolls around, you'll be at an advantage. Would have been lucky to knock that shot down. Coach has a look like, are you kidding me? Jefferson outside, pass to Thornton. McGee Stafford, six to shoot. Akunba Wale is doubled. Fires the three. A shot by Thornton, no good. It can be so deflating to miss a wide open look like that. Gray, covered by Thornton. Here's Taylor. And it's rebounded by Satu Sabali. And just about a minute into this first quarter. Outside Agumawale. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Here's Thornton. Down to five on the shot clock. A true veteran who's mastered the ability to play sound, fundamental defense. McCautry knows how to disrupt opponents. Both loose. Cam Beige. She's covered by Jefferson. Here's Taylor. Here's Wilson. Lays it up and in off the nice reverse. Finally, somebody knocks down a shot. This has not been pretty so far. Jefferson outside. And here's Kayla Thornton from the arc. It's hauled in by the Aces. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Pass to Wilson. Jefferson with the steal. with it. Just five on the clock. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Kayla Thornton missing again. Well, for Asia Wilson, she's never been a player who's been under the radar. Out of the high school ranks, she was the number one recruit from the nation in 2014. And what a college career she had. Three times an All-American, winning a national championship in 2017, and the National Player of the Year as a senior. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And the wings call time here. And for Asia, she was the top pick of the WNBA, too. Yeah, Wilson has been under the limelight for most of her basketball life. So it should be no surprise that she's adjusted to the WNBA game so quickly. She's already one of the top centers in the league and thrives under pressure. Defense the Aces. Outside of Wale. Back to Thornton. And foul called as she misses. And she's going to shoot two free throws. Liz Cambage picks one up. It's a big strength of Thornton. Easily over an 80% career foul shooter. If you uh, foul her and send her to the line, she'll probably make the freebies. This is her first trip to the free throw line tonight. The first one falls. Well, playing at a mid-major school in college, Kayla Thornton was uh, overlooked coming out of school, undrafted in 2014. 
During her first three years as a pro, while Thornton improved and honed her craft overseas, she only played in 10 WNBA games over those three years. Cam Beige with it. Thornton picks her up. Boss with it. Back to Cam Beige. Agumba Wale with the steal. And the foul on Boss. That's her first foul. And with Thornton, after being cut and looked over numerous times, she broke through in 2017. Originally, it was just a training camp invite with the Wings, but Thornton's play earned her a spot as a sub, appearing in all 34 games in 2017. In 2018 and 2019, her game continued to evolve, becoming a starter in Dallas and proving she belongs on the world's biggest basketball stage. And Agunba Wale gets it to go. Despite standing 5'8", Olga Benwaller want to get more, not to be denied inside. Pass to Cambage. That one drops for her. Here's Jefferson. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Thornton. Arike Agubawale on the wing. Sabali the screen. Agunbawale from long range. And Cambage pulls it down. And it's the Aces with the ball. Now Boss. Back to Gray. From the arc. That doesn't go. And she's 0 for 1 from the field. Jefferson outside. Pass to Agunbawale. Las Vegas grabs the miss. Well, offensively speaking, it has been a tough, tough quarter for her. Here's Taylor. A shot off that time. Some solid defense from Satu Sabali. She might want to maybe defer for a while. She's had her chances this quarter, but nothing's fallen. Outside Agumba Wale. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and she'll shoot one more at the line. During the 2018 uh, Collegiate Basketball Tournament, Arike Ogunbunwale made herself a household name in basketball circles. She hit two of the biggest shots in college basketball history. First, a game-winning step-back J with just a second left in the semifinal game. And now the wings fast break. Here's Jefferson. Nice D from Chelsea Gray. Las Vegas trailing. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Taylor. The three is up. It's rebounded by McGee Stafford. For Agumba Wale, she also stepped up big time in that final. Yeah, Arike hit a crazy three at the buzzer to win the national championship. And as a junior in college, Agumba Wale earned the reputation as an all-time clutch performer. McCautry outside. Now Boss. Banked in off the glass. Well, she gets that one to drop, but with just one make in seven attempts, she simply has not been much help offensively. Now here's Jefferson. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Outside, Sobley. Clock at six. Arjun Gawale. Great positioning on the putback. You know, certain players want it more. Ogun Wale isn't the tallest player on the floor. Still, she finds a way to get the old board and the hoop. Damn, that one's good. Gray. Dallas with the ball. Now here's Jefferson. Pass to Ogun Wale. McGee Stafford. Defended by Cambage. Wale from long range. That's in, and her fourth basket of the night. She's taken seven shots. That's a solid 57%. A loads from nine. Again, Las Vegas. Talk about a creative ball handler. Once Gray gets defenders off balance, it's over. 
Jefferson outside. Asto Gumbawale. Got a hand on it. And she recovers it. And that one's good. It's been a very efficient first quarter for her, and she's just creating good opportunities. And when you do that, you can convert. Now here is Boss. To the inside. Gray. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Here's Jefferson. Outside, Agumawale. Pass to Thornton. Takes the three. That shot off. And Las Vegas the other way now. Yeah, I mean, she has been way off the mark this floor. It is getting rough. Here's Taylor. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Dallas leading. Thornton outside. Agumawale. Outside, Sobley. Shot clock at six. Gordon outside. And it's off from three-point range. She still has not been able to convert a single shot from the field. Not one. It's really been a struggle for her. Now here is Boss. And the foul on Boss. That'll be her second foul of the game. A little too careless to start the game, and really, that's already her third miscue. Yeah, just poor execution on. From the inbound. Called that time on the way up, and that'll give her two chances at the free throw line. Want to know just how valuable Angel McCautry is? With a healthy Angel back in 2018, Atlanta had the best record in the East with 23 wins. Fast forward to 2019, Angel McCautry misses all of that year, and Atlanta goes from first to dead last in the East. Orton outside for three. It's hauled in by the Aces. It's been one of those days for her. She's really struggled. Pass to Taylor. Inside. Here's Hamby. Here's Wilson. The shot comes out. Good work defensively by Kayla Thornton. Endor with it. The three... Gets a three-pointer to fall. They're doing much better now. In the first quarter, they converted less than 30% of their field goals, but they've bounced back here in the second. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Yep, that goes. She's uh, having quite the quarter here, shooting the ball really well, and just an impressive performance on all cylinders. Shots good by Jeff. That's just showing off right here, guys. She is too good with the crossover. Here's Las Vegas. Six-point game. Now here is Boss. She's covered by Jefferson. Pass to Wilson. Allen. Shoots over a Gumbawale. Here's Hamby. The shot goes in. First of the night, she is one for three to start the contest. Never a player short on effort. Derrica Hamby, a winning player. Second chance points can be the difference most nights. Off her leg. And the ref's whistling a kickball. Here's Jefferson. Through. She's now made two out of four. Here's Taylor. To the middle. Stolen by Endor. And the foul on Boss. That is her third foul so far. 
Look, that's the risk you run by staying out there as of her third foul of the game. And here's Jefferson. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Outside, Agumba Wale. Just five to shoot. It's hauled in by the Aces. And she doesn't miss many of those, uh, especially with the defender not in the best of positions. Now here is Boss. She's covered by Jefferson. Agumbawale. And the layup's good off the glass. Not quitting on the play. Arike loves finding ways to finish on aggressive coverage. Boss sets a screen. Gray in the post. Guarded now by Agumbawale. And a missed layup. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It goes on Asia Wilson. Pretty incredible stat here. As a rookie in 2019, Arike Ogumunwale led the league in free throw attempts. It's part of why she's an elite scorer. In her successful rookie campaign, Arike Ogumunwale was first in the WNBA in free throw attempts. And that, to me, shows her aggressive mentality. Agumba Wale stands at just 5'8", but she is not afraid of a little contact. Well, guys, for Arike, it also shows her incredible ball handling abilities. She's just got a knack for drawing contact. Absolutely, Blake. Normally, we see post players big lead the league in trips to the line. But Arike's ability to be in constant attack mode, it's a huge part of her stellar offensive game. Pass to Thornton. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Park. I'm not sure why she keeps trying her luck from deep. It's just not working for her. Boss with it. Gray outside. McCautry. And here is Wilson. Covered by Thornton. Las Vegas the rebound. And that one's good, Wilson. Look, it's no secret that rebounding is all about effort. And that's something Wilson is never lacking. Here's Jefferson. Rebound by the Aces. Now Gray. She's got six. Now here's Boss. Buries it down low. She is a machine at the offensive end. I wonder how far behind they would be if she was not having this kind of a quarter. Dallas calls timeout, and everyone treats the offseason differently. Brian, but what's the best way to stay in shape for the upcoming year? Well, to me, it's always been about nutrition, Blake. If you're fueling your body properly, it's a lot easier to stay in shape. You have to resist temptations to stuff your face with sweets. And instead, focus on eating your fruits and vegetables. Yeah, you're one to talk, Brian. I like when players do a variety of workouts to get their body right. Playing basketball is important, but other workouts such as boxing, running on the beach, lifting weights can pay huge dividends for today's athletes. Now here is Boss. Tight defense on her. Good. I mean, there has to be a defensive air. She's someone they need to put more attention on. Outside Agumba Wale. Pass to Harrison. Jefferson. Here's Agumba Wale. From outside the arc. Zendor, and she uses the glass on the layup. Unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and she's heating up. The ace is trailing. Now Boss. Sottley with the block. 
No way. The 6'4 length to Sobley, plus her quickness, make her a candidate to reject loads of shots. And we finished one half of play. It's the Wings up 11. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Hello and welcome back. Third quarter just about to get going in what has been a runaway of a game so far. And Arike Agunbowale has been sensational here. The way she attacked the rim in the first half was absolutely remarkable. Defenders need to start building walls inside doing whatever they can to stop her from getting to the rim. Easier said than done when she's the penetrator. Look, her speed and agility make her an extremely tough cover. From deep, Satu Sabali. Rebound by the Aces. Here's Taylor. He's got six. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Back to Gumbawale. Nailed from three-point land. A skilled shooter from outside the arc, Agumawale is someone that loves getting space to take these shots. And here's Boss. Pass to Cambage. It's rebounded by McGee Stafford. Anybody want to bet that she won't miss that shot the next time she takes it? Outside Agumawale. Now here's Sabalu. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Shot from free throw range. The shot, no good. And Las Vegas the other way now. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Pass to Cambage. Count that one. Okay, I mean, you have to follow Cambage when she's the roller. She's so dangerous going to the rack. A drive by Mariah Jefferson. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it did not work. Not if it results in that shot. Here's Taylor. The second chance effort. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. What a play in attack mode and get inside. And the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Good on the second free throw. Jefferson with it. Six points for her. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Here's Agumbo Wale. Doesn't go for her. Great D that time from Angel McCautry. Pass to Taylor. A baseline J. Here's Wilson. And it's blocked by Imani McGee Stafford. Now Jefferson. Thornton. Sabali. Boss defending. Agumboale uses the glass to finish the layup. At the offensive end, she's done as much as they could have hoped for today. Pass to Taylor. Wilson the screen. Had another one in the scoring column for her. She's 7 for 10 from the field. Really one of the best players in the pick and roll. Wilson has a great feel off the screen. Drive by Mariah Jefferson, and it's blocked by Asia Wilson. Gray outside. Sinks that one from the post. Using a soft touch and a purposeful offensive approach, Gray's able to finish around the basket in a variety of ways. Thornton outside. Jefferson. Gumbawale, Gray defending. The 
17-footer. Agunbawale, no good. Well, that's just not a sight you see very often because she has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when she's open. Pass to Cambage. And it's off the back of the rim, no good. Now here's Jefferson, Voss defending. Outside, Agunbawale. Jefferson outside. She has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys, but as a whole, it really hasn't affected the team that much. Pass to Wilson. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Jefferson outside to the paint. Here's McGee Stafford. And she gets it to go. Great job spotting her teammate near the bucket and firing the pass in there. Now here's Gray. She's got eight. The left wing pass to Taylor. Imani McGee Stafford. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's been the result for her over and over. I mean, she just cannot find the bottom of the bucket. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists, but also their movement off the ball, it's created those opportunities. Wilson sets a screen. Down low. It's over Savali, and no good trying to use the glass. When you think basketball in Germany, the first name that comes up naturally is Dirk Nowitzki, but there's another that should pop up immediately, Satu Savali. Growing up in Berlin, Germany, Savali was a huge Dirk fan. She finally remembers a meeting Dirk in Germany when she was just 13. So naturally, she was ecstatic to be drafted second overall in 2020 and play in Dallas. To the middle, Wilson. Basket number eight for her on 13 attempts. That's a 62% flip so far. Time called here. The Wings decide to talk it over. For Sabali, the comparisons with Dirk don't stop at where they're from and where they were drafted. Satu's game is so similar to the former MVP. She's got center height at 6'4", and she's also a gifted... Defending. Back to Harrison. Pass to Endor. Avery. Picked by Endor. And the basket by Mabry. Mixing it up inside. Mabry might be under six feet, but her toughness showing there. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They got to score. And here is Gray. And there's the three-second violation. Just a, a total loss of concentration right there. Yeah, this game could turn even more sour on them if those are the kinds of mistakes they're going to make. You need better focus. Third minute of action now. Gone here in the fourth quarter of this one. Don't give her space! Don't give her space! On the wing, Alicia Gray. Called in by the Aces. Here's Taylor to the paint. Here's Wilson. The shot that time not on target. And Dallas the other way now. Pass to Jefferson. goes in as she's fouled. It'll be three points if she can convert the free throw. Former players can find success as coaches because their players can relate to them. You know, of all the active players in the WNBA, who do you think would have the strongest coaching philosophy? 
That's a tough one, Blake, but I'll go with Allie Quigley. You know, guards have a great feel for the game, and I think her battle-tested path to stardom would uh, really resonate with future players. Yeah, it's a good choice, Tim, but I'm going to pick Dewana Bonner. Before becoming a three-time All-Star, Bonner was a three-time Six Woman of the Year award winner. So if there's anyone who knows how to develop basketball skills, it's her. And here's Jefferson. Here's Thornton. And she drops in the layup off glass. Little bit of physicality from Thornton. Getting her shot to go. Pass to Taylor. Will it go? And the layup is good. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Up top, Sobley. Here's McGee Stafford. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good, and she'll go to the line. And that one misses. We hear the phrase sports science. Players and their teams play a part in keeping their bodies in tip-top shape. How big of an impact do you think it makes for a team as a whole? Well, with these athletes playing year-round, you have to pay attention to recovery efforts. Stud most important factor to keeping your body right. And it also comes down to not just how you're training. Absolutely, making sure you are working the right muscle groups. The final piece of the pie is nutrition. You are what you eat right. We've seen players extend their careers of late. That's the biggest impact, guys, of sports science. And that one's good. Sabali. Nice kick out after the D. It collapsed on her. And the Aces call time here. You know, it's never easy for a rookie but Satu Sabali made her mark during her first year in the WNBA. Despite a back injury that forced her to miss a few games, Sabali averaged 14 and eight for a young Dallas team that missed the playoffs by just one game. Pass to Taylor. The layup missed. And for Sabali, the best is yet to come for the all-rookie team selection from Germany. A 6'4 wing who can really do it all. Look for Sabali's shooting percentages to improve as her career goes on. But the thing she did in the Wubble that was most impressive, offensive rebound. One of the best in the league on the O-boards as a rookie. And it's Gray missing. Well, they're winning despite her errant shooting. Pass to Taylor. Let's it go from deep. Out of bounds, it'll go to the wings. And so it's Dallas easily grabbing this one. And this one was all over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get.